All right, so here I am back in my kitchen. Just gonna show you a short practice session on uh, the first few fundamental techniques for snare drumming, okay? So we're gonna wanna try to practice these a few times. I'm gonna get right to it. You can just follow this video right along and that'll be a practice session, okay? Try to keep it under five minutes. We'll try. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I'm holding my stick correctly. If you need to do that, go back to the holding the sticks video. All right, I'm nice and relaxed. I've got my technique, all that good stuff. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend like 30 seconds, uh, meaning 15 on each hand, just trying to get that stick to bounce and stay relaxed. So I'm just gonna go right, left, right, left, and I'm gonna kind of just let it bounce a few times. Yep, just trying to stay relaxed. Trying to keep hold of the stick. And by the way, I am doing this on a little, um, Dish cloth, so I don't mark up my counter. A pillow would work too, though it won't bounce. Just trying to keep it all on the wrist. I'll do a couple more. If you notice, the backs of my hands are facing towards the ceiling. Okay, I'll continue. The first thing that we do to warm up after that is eight on a hand, which I covered in the last video, so I'll just jump right into it. I start on the right, do eight hits, left eight hits. I'm gonna do that four times if I can keep count. Here we go. Two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Gee, I hope that was four times. Next, we have alternating strokes. So. Um, instead of going eight on each hand, we're just going to do one on each hand. We're going to go right, left, right, left, okay? And the whole time, we're trying to keep a steady beat, right? Because that's kind of our main job as percussionists. All right, so I'm going to try it. One, two, here I go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right, left, right, left. Trying to keep a steady beat. I'm trying to keep it all on the wrist. If you'll notice, when one stick goes down, the other comes up. And I'll do this for about another 30 seconds. I'm really just trying to get used to keeping this in the wrist. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Counting to four because that will come in handy later. Next is doubles, okay? So we could think of what we just did, alternating strokes, as singles, right? Because we hit one time in each hand. Now we ought to practice doing doubles, which is two times in each hand, okay? So what I'll do is, for now, I'll count to two in each hand so you can get an idea. Right, right, left, left. Um, it might be a good idea to, if you have a little extra time, lead with your left hand at some point, too. But I'll leave that up to you for now. Here we go, here's my doubles. One, two, right hand first. One, two, 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 one, two. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. This is a good opportunity to take a look at your wrist. Are you moving your wrist only? That's the object here. Are you keeping control of the sticks? You're not dropping them or anything or letting them go loose. Left, left, right, right, left, left. I'm 
do it for another 20 seconds or so. more times. Right, left, left, one, two, three, four, and off. Okay, sweet. All right, I've, I've got one more for you, okay? It's a really easy practice session, but going through this once a day will really help you, okay? Because as you'll see right now, these ideas, they kind of start to combine and we start to end up doing some really fun percussion stuff, okay, down the line. All right, so we did singles, we did doubles, now you learn your first rudiment. So the rudiments are kind of like little bits of drumming language. Okay, we're gonna think of them as. The first one that I'm gonna teach you is paradiddle. Okay, the way I like to teach this is para or is two singles in a row, and then diddle is one double. Let me show you. I'm gonna go paradiddle. Okay, in other words, right left, right, right. So I want you to try that a couple times, starting with your right hand. I'll do it two times. Right, left, right, right. One more time, go. Right, left, right, right. Next, because we're gonna have to use this to connect it, we'll start with our left hand. I'll do it two times. Leading with my left hand this time. Two, ready, go. Left, right, left, left. I'll do it again, ready, Go, left, right, left, left. Now here's kind of a challenge round, okay? I'm gonna do paradiddles for about a minute, all right, to end up this, pra end up this practice session. And the thing about paradiddles I'll do, I'll demonstrate once is, when you connect them, you're gonna go right, left, right, right, and then left, right, left, left. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. It might help you to say, Paradiddle, paradiddle, okay? So I'll do it slow a few times, and then I'll do it faster. So I want you to try to do the slow one, and once you become comfortable with that, you can continue on and try the faster one, okay? So I'll do it nice and slow. Pair a did o Pair a did o Pair a did o Or right, left, right, right. Left, right. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Pair, a, did, o. Pair, a, did, o. Pair, a, did, o. Pair, a, did, o. Right, right, left, right, left, left. Pair a did o pair a did o. Okay, so if you can tell, once you kind of go a little faster, it starts to sound like how it's called, like like its name, paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Okay, you don't have to get that fast quite yet, but I'll do another uh, another um, another round for about a minute, and I'll go a little bit faster so you can practice that. Remember. If you look, I believe you'd look down here, it'd be this side, uh, the little cog on YouTube. You can slow it down or speed it up if you need to do that, okay? So I'll do it a little faster. Pair a did o pair a did o. Pair a did o. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right. Trying to stay nice and relaxed. That's how we'll achieve speed in the future. I 
do a few more. If you run through that once a day, you'll start developing some really good snare drum skills. Thank you. Good luck. You know where to find me if you need any help.